Hello viewers, how are you? Welcome to my channel Physics with Plants. So today we are going to discuss about uh, Newton's law of cooling. So before going to start this show, those who are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel so that you can receive notifications regarding my channel as well as you can clear your concepts in order to solve the numericals regarding uh, this concept. And uh, if you watch my previous videos, you can learn the concepts of my previous videos and you can solve as many numericals as you can so that you can target J or NEET. So, come to the case. Now we are going to discuss about the Newton's law of cooling. Come to the case of this Newton's law of cooling. If we consider a body, Whereas the temperature of the body is represented as a T and the surroundings temperature of around the body is represented as a T surfaces. Here the condition is the temperature of the body should be greater than temperature of the surroundings. As the temperature of the body is greater than temperature of the surroundings, the heat present within the body is a transferred to the surroundings. Until both the body and the surroundings attain the same temperature. That is known as Newton's law of cooling. Means when a body is placed within the atmosphere, it loses the heat until it attains the temperature of the surroundings. So we call it as a Newton's law of cooling. As if that uh, here the heat is being lost by body it is uh, lost by the whereas uh, here the rate of loss of heat is represented as a dq by dt here dq represents a change in the heat dd represents change in the time so rate of loss of heat is a directly proportional to temperature difference between the body and the surroundings so we represent it as a t minus ts but because we have represented that temperature of the body should be greater than temperature of the surroundings then only heat transfer takes place from body to the surroundings as you observe that in order to remove this proportionality, we should add a constant and this constant is represented as k, small k, where k into t minus tx. So, this represents the expression. As you observe that, here heat is being liberated to the surroundings. So, as you observe this body, it is not changing its state Why it liberates the heat. So we consider specific heat, where we know that a specific heat C is equal to delta Q by M into delta T. Or we can represent it as C is equal to DQ by M into DT, where DQ is a change in the heat whereas dt represents change in the temperature. From this expression here we can represent dq is equal to m into c into dt. So in the place of dq we can substitute m into mass into specific heat into change in the temperature. When we substitute also that dt by dt is equal sorry mc into dt equal to k into t minus t c. So from this, as you observe that D capital T by D small t is equal to K by M C into T minus T represents the expression. Observe that K is a proportionality constant, mass is M is the mass of the body and C is the specific. So instead of representing all these constants, we consider a single constant and it is represented as K, where k is equal to small k by m into c. 
so the expression is represented as d capital t by d small t equal to capital k into t minus t this represents the expression for newton's law whereas here since the temperature is decreasing for the body we represent it with the minus sign we represent it with the minus sign why because body's temperature is decreasing it's not increasing it's in a reverse direction so dt by h on d is on d equals to minus k into t minus t is is the final expression for newton's law field take a screenshot we will continue Okay, now we had represented the Newton's law of cooling expression as a dt by dt is equal to minus k into t minus t suffix s. So this is the expression represented. So let's send this dt towards this side and bring this t minus t s towards this side. After that, dt dt by t minus t suffix s is equal to Minus k into d. So when we integrate this equation, after that integration of uh, d t by t minus t is equal to integration of minus k into d. So integration of t minus t is equal to but one by x into d. Uh, so here we represent it as log x. Then it is represented log of t minus t is equal to minus k into integration of dt is t. So when we bring this log towards this side, it becomes exponential. Then it can be represented as t minus t is equal to e to the power of minus k t. Then the temperature can be given as t equals t suffix s plus e to the power of minus k t is the expression for initial temperature based on surrounding temperature. Now let's solve the problem. Other that if we consider the temperature of a body is 15 degrees Celsius, it decreases to 30 degrees Celsius in 10 minutes. And next, it the temperature decreases to 20 degrees Celsius in the next 10 minutes. So now we have to represent the temperature of the body in the next 10 minutes. So here, as you also that he will represent the surrounding temperature. If we consider the surrounding temperature as a 15 degrees Celsius. So let us answer this case. Observe that initially the temperature has been decreased from 50 to 30. Then according to this equation, 15 minus 30, nothing but 20. But because here we have to represent dt, where dt is nothing but change in the temperature. 15 minus 30 is 20 by change in the time is 10 minutes equals to minus k into t minus t s. So, sum of the temperatures, mean of this temperature, 15 plus 30 is 80, 80 by 2 is 40, 40 minus 15. I see also that here we had represented 20 by 10, 20 by 10 is 2, 2 is equal to minus k into 40 minus 15 is 25. So, here we get a minus k is equal to 2 by 25 or we can represent k is equal to minus 2 by 25 is the value. Now let us consider the final case. Also that here the temperature is 20 degrees Celsius and here the final temperature has to be represented based on the surrounding temperature. So as you also that 20 minus x by 10 minutes is equal to minus 2 pi 25 minus of minus is plus 2 by 25 into sum of the two temperatures or mean of the two temperatures nothing but 20 plus x by 2 minus 15 so here 
आंसर दैट इज 20 minus x by 10 is equal to 2 by 25. When we do LCM, 20 plus x 15 into 2 is minus 30 by 2. Answer that 2 by answer. Now, I shall consider this case. Here, 20 minus x by 10 is equal to 1 by 25 plus 20 minus 30 nothing but x minus 10 here let's send this x towards this side so before going to send this answer that 5 2 sir 5 5 sir when we cross multiply this equation 5 into 20 is 100 minus 5 into x is 5 x equals 2 into x 2 x 2 into 10 is minus 20. So let's send this 20 towards this side and bring this as 5x towards this side. 100 plus 20 is equal to 5x plus 2x. So here 7x is equal to 120. Then x equals 120 by 7. So 7 by 7. So here we have 50. 50 means 7 cents of 49. 49. So when we place this decimal point, I can give it 1. So the temperature after 10 minutes is 17.1 degrees. Take a screenshot, we will continue. Now we are going to solve a numerical based on this and Newton's law of cooling. As of that initial temperature of this copper ball is 62 degrees Celsius. Whereas it has been decreased to 50 degrees Celsius in 10 minutes. Later on it has decreased from 50 to 42 in the next 10 minutes and from 42 to x degrees Celsius in the next 10 minutes. Now we have to represent the temperature at this portion. So now let us answer the first case. Observe that 60 and 50. 62 and 50. So, based on the Newton's law of cooling, answer that dt by dt is equal to minus k into here t minus a t suffix s is the common equation given. So, now observe that 62 minus 50 is nothing but 12 by 10 is equal to minus k into 60 plus 50. 62 plus a 50 is nothing but 112 by 2 minus t suffix s is the resultant equation. Whereas when we consider 50 and 42 in the second case, temperature has been decreased from 50 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius. In the next sentence, then here also that 50 minus 42 is 8 by 10 is equal to minus k into 50 plus 42, 92 by 2 minus T suffixes. So now, when we divide these two equations, uh, here we can represent the temperature of the sides. Also that uh, 12 by 10 by 8 by 10 is equal to minus K into 112 by 2 minus T suffixes by minus K into 92 by 2 minus T suffixes. You have observed that 10 gets answer. So 4 3 is 4 2 is here minus K gets answer. As you observe that 3 by 2 is equal to. So. so here as you observe that 5 2 is 10 and I said 7 2 is 12 minus a t suffix s by 4 to the 8 4 to the 8 still we have to 6 to the 12 minus a t suffix s represents the equation let's cross multiply this equation answer that 6 into 3 18 so here we have 1 4 3 is 12 12 plus 1 13 minus t into 
3 becomes 2 into 56 nothing but 1 1 2 minus 2 t 6 s so now when we send this 1 1 2 2 6 and bring this 3 t 6 1 3 8 minus 1 1 2 is equal to 3 t suffix s minus 2 t suffix s 8 minus 2 is 6 3 minus 1 is 2 equal to t suffix s so based on that we can represent that the surrounding temperature is 26 degree Celsius now we have to represent the temperature at this place as you also that when we consider this equation 42 minus x by 10 is equal to minus k into and a, k into temperature is a, average is a, represented as a 42 plus x by 2 minus a, 20 here we have to represent the value of k so that we can substitute so as you consider when we substitute 26 in this equation also that 8 by 10 is equal to minus k into 92 by 2 is 46 minus 26 here 8 by 10 is equal to minus k into 20 so 4 5 are 20 4, 2, so 8. So here we get a k is equal to minus 2 by 15. Is the value of k. So let's substitute this in the equation. 42 minus x by 10 is equal to minus 4, 2 by 15 or 1 by 25. 1 by 25 to 42 plus x by 2 minus 26. I say also that here uh, 5, 5 is a 25, 5, 2 is a 10. So here 42 minus x by 2 is equal to 1 by 5 into After that uh, 42 plus x, uh, 26 into 2. So here we get a uh, 52. 42 plus x minus uh, 52 by 2. So here 2 and 2 is answer. So here we had 42 minus x is equal to 1 by 5 into. So minus 52 plus 42. So here we get x minus 10. Let's cross multiply this equation. Answer so that 5 2 is 10. 4 5 is 20. 2 10 minus 5 x is equal to x minus 10. So let's send this uh, minus 10 towards this side and bring this uh, 5 x towards this side. So here we get 2 10 plus 10 is 2 20 is equal to 6 x. 6 x. Then here we have x is equal to 2 20 by 6. So I shall say that 6 3 is 18. So still we have. Six three is a eighty. So here we have forty. Six six is a thirty six. It continues. So here we get a thirty six point six degrees Celsius is the temperature at this portion after a time of ten minutes. Take a screenshot. Please give a like to this video, share this video to your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel.